Kalpana Chavla born March 17, 1962 and died February 1, 2003 was an Indian-born American astronaut and mechanical engineer who was the first woman of Indian origin to go to space. She first flew on Space Shuttle Columbia in 1997 as a mission specialist and primary robotic arm operator. Her second flight was on STS-107, the final flight of Space Shuttle Columbia in 2003. Chavla was one of the seven crew members who died in the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster when the spacecraft disintegrated during its re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Chavla was posthumously awarded the Congressional Space Medal of Honor, and several streets, universities, and institutions have been named in her honor. She is regarded as a national hero in India. Chavla died on February 1, 2003. Kalpana Chavla was born. On March 17, 1962, to a Punjabi Hindu family, in Kurnal of present-day aeroplanes and flying. She went to local flying clubs and watched planes with her father. Her date of birth was falsified by her family to July 1, 1961, to allow her to become eligible for the matriculation exam. After getting a Bachelor of Engineering degree in Aeronautical Engineering from Punjab Engineering College, India, she moved to the United States in 1982 and obtained a Master of Science degree in Aerospace Engineering from the University of Texas at Arlington in 1984. Chavla went on to earn a second Master's in 1986 and a PhD in Aerospace Engineering in 1988 from the University of Colorado Boulder. In 1988, Chavla began working at NASA Ames Research Center, where she did computational fluid dynamics CFD research on vertical and or shore takeoff and landing v STOL concepts. Much of Chavla's research is included in technical journals and conference papers. In 1993, she joined Overset Methods Incorporated as Vice President and Research Scientist specializing in simulation of moving multiple body problems. Chavla held a Certificate Flight Instructor rating for airplanes, gliders, and commercial pilot licenses for single and multi-engine airplanes, seaplanes, and gliders. After becoming a naturalized U.S. citizen in April 1991, Chavla applied for the NASA Astronaut Corps. She joined the Corps in March 1995 and was selected for her first flight in 1997. Her first space mission began on November 19, 1997, as part of the six astronaut crew that flew the Space Shuttle Columbia Flight STS-87. Chavla was the first Indian woman to go in space. She spoke the following words while traveling in the weightlessness of space, you are just your intelligence. She had traveled 10.67 million kilometers, as many as 252 times around the Earth. On her first mission, Chavla traveled 10.4-6.5 million miles in 252 orbits of the Earth, logging more than 376 hours 15 days and 16 hours, in space. During STS-87, she was responsible for deploying the Spartan satellite which malfunctioned, necessitating a spacewalk by Winston Scott and Taka Odoi to capture the satellite. A five-month NASA investigation exonerated Chavla by identifying errors in software interfaces and the defined procedures of the flight crew and ground control. After the completion of STS-87 post-flight activities, Chavla was assigned to technical positions in the astronaut office to work on the space station. In 2001, Chavla was selected for her second flight as part of the crew of STS-107. This mission was repeatedly delayed due to scheduling conflicts and technical problems such as the July 2002 discovery of cracks in the shuttle engine flow liners. On January 16, 2003, Chavla finally returned to space aboard Space Shuttle Columbia on the ill-fated STS-107 mission. The crew performed nearly 80 experiments studying Earth and space science, advanced technology development, and astronaut health and safety. During the launch of STS-107, Columbia's 28th mission, a piece of foam insulation broke off from the space shuttle external tank and struck the left wing of the orbiter. Previous shuttle launches had seen minor damage from foam shedding, but some engineers suspected that the damage to Columbia was more serious. NASA managers limited the investigation, reasoning that the crew could not have fixed the problem if it had been confirmed. When Columbia re-entered the atmosphere of Earth, the damage allowed hot atmospheric gases to penetrate and destroy the internal wing structure, which caused the spacecraft to become unstable and break. 
apart. After the disaster, space shuttle flight operations were suspended for more than two years, similar to the aftermath of the Challenger disaster. Construction of the International Space Station ISS was put on hold, the station relied entirely on the Russian Roscosmos State Corporation for resupply for 29 months until shuttle flights resumed with STS-114 and 41 months for crew rotation. Chavla died on February 1, 2003, in the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster, along with the other six crew members, when the Columbia disintegrated over Texas during re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, shortly before it was scheduled to conclude its 28th mission, STS-107. Her remains were identified along with those of the rest of the crew members and were cremated and scattered at Zion National Park, in Utah in accordance with her wishes. On December 2, 1983, Kolpana Chavla was married to Jean-Pierre Harrison, at age of 21. After the Columbia disaster, Harrison was approached by filmmakers to make a movie on Kolpana's life, but he refused, as he prefers to keep their life private. Harrison has since remarried and has a young son. He runs a publishing company in Los Gatos, California.